Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are just going to go over how to convert between horsepower and watts. So one horsepower is equal to 746 watts. Or if you're working in kilowatts, you can also write it as 0 0.746 kilowatts. But I'd say the one to remember here is one horsepower is equal to 746 watts. We're always going to be wanting to do our conversions in watts. Um, that's just going to make for a cleaner computation. So we can express this as unity uh, by writing 1 HP over 746 watts is equal to 1. We could also write that in the, uh, the inverse form. So we could have 746 watts divided by 1 horsepower is also equal to 1. Now we can multiply anything by unity and it, it, it's fine. It's just gonna convert in units. So for example, if we have, let's say a five horsepower motor and we wanna figure out how many watts or kilowatts it is, we'll just multiply it by unity. And we're gonna pick the one that has horsepower on the bottom. So our units are going to cancel. So we'll just have one horsepower on the bottom and on the top we'll have 746 watts so we get five horsepower the horsepowers cancel out and we get five times 746 and that's just equal to 3730 watts you could divide that by a thousand if you wanted to and you'd also see that this is equal to 3.73 kilowatts now instead of multiplying by unity you can just multiply horsepower by 746 and that's going to work but if you prefer to actually kind of observe the dimensional analysis where you're seeing what units are cancelling out and why and how you're converting from one to the other feel free to multiply by unity so let's do another one let's say we have a three horsepower motor um, and we want to multiply this by unity again. So if again, if you can't remember which one's which, just see, okay, horsepower is here, so we have to cancel out horsepower. That one's going to go on the bottom. Then watts are going to go on the top, and it was one horsepower to 746 watts. Again, the horsepowers are going to cancel out, and we're going to have 3 times 746 is equal to 2,238 watts. And if you were asked to provide that in kilowatts, uh, that would just be point two three eight kilowatts again i do the conversion in watts and then after multiply to kilowatts okay so we can go from horsepower to watts let's try going from watts to horsepower so let's say that someone gives you a problem where you have a motor that is uh, six thousand seven hundred and fourteen watts let's actually go up a little bit higher so you can see the conversion here um, well we're just going to multiply this by unity again and in this case we see that we have to cancel out watts so we're going to put that on the bottom horsepower is going to go on the other side and we know it's 746 watts to one horsepower so our watts are going to cancel out basically we're just going to divide the watts by 746 to get horsepower you can, you can do it that way if that makes more sense. But basically, 6,714 divided by 746 gives us uh, 9 horsepower. All right, uh, we'll just do one more example here. In case someone gives you a value in kilowatts, and let's say they say you have a motor that is 11.19 kilowatts, and they want to know how many horsepower it is. Well, first, you should convert it to watts. And again, we can do a unity conversion here. So we're going to put kilowatts on the bottom, watts on the top, which is going to cancel out for us. And we know that one kilowatt is 1,000 watts. So those units cancel. We're left with 11.19 times 1,000. And that just gives us 11,190 watts. And now what we want to do is we just want to multiply this by unity again for the conversion from watts to horsepower. So again, just draw our bracket here. We know that we need to cancel out watts, so it's going on the bottom. Horsepower is on the top. It's one horsepower to 746 watts. Again, these units are going to cancel, so basically we're dividing 11,190 by 746, and that's going to give us a value of 15 horsepower.